brought to you by Brand South Africa. Over the last decade, the continent was home to six of the world's ten fastest growing economies and the outlook for the region remains bright at a time when the rest of the world is facing major political and economic challenges. Still at the World Economic Forum Summit in Addis Ababa, Godfrey Mutiza spoke to Suresh Chaturvedi, chairman of the Frontline Development Partners. Any region of Africa needs infrastructure because Africa is a country which is enough on the land, water, and human being. Now, today's position is that anything which you transport, the main thing is the transport cost. Sure. When you talk of transport, then transport whole infrastructure come, roads, railway, and then you need water right. for the agriculture. Yeah. So you need a lot of water. And to run the water, you need electricity. So there are three major portions, water, electricity, and the infrastructure to movement of the material which you produce here. Yeah. Because today the cost is very high. 40% cost of Africa, whether importing or exporting, yeah. goes into the transportation and logistics. Right. Which one has to try that it should come down to almost 10 to 15%, which is an international standard. Right. Because of that only, Africa cannot be um, economically viable internationally. So the backbone of everything is Africa. Now, in that case, many of the country like Ethiopia right. has done a great job on infrastructure. Where are you putting your money? Uh, electrification, right. power generation. Okay. And uh, now they are uh, putting up sugar plants. Now, sugar plant, one can think it is a uh, sugar product. It's a commodity item. No. Yes, now, sugar plant is not a commodity item because it produces co-generation 100 megawatt or 200 megawatt power, which India is doing in a lot of way. It gives you water. It gives a lot of community, the lower label work and agriculture. So we are putting in sugar, a lot of petition here. And as this I is told Ethiopia. You, Ethiopia. In uh, Mozambique, How much would you say you've invested in here? You, uh, around, uh, we can say that uh, Ethiopia, we have spent more than 25 million directly, but overall. 25 million dollars. 25 million dollars. And overall, uh, the project, what we are doing is more than a billion dollars, which has money from government of India, because now government of India doing a lot of things for Africa. Number one, last time in Addis, only our prime minister has the uh, conference here, AU conference, which he attended, mm -hmm. and uh, he offered $700 million for capacity building. Right. And uh, uh, around 7 to $8 billion for infrastructure building up. But Ethiopia is taking the maximum advantage of that because they are doing capacity building. So they are not depending 100% on outside money. Right. Okay. Let's talk about the other hot spots as well, which you see, because you were talking the earlier and we we're discussing Mozambique. Correct. Uh, the hottest spot, the second hottest spot, which is going to be very big and which will be automatic, and I think uh, in five years we will not recognize that country, is Mozambique. Why? Uh, they, God has given them everything for the power. Hydro, energy is the, today the most asked thing in the world. Mozambique has hydro, Kohabasa, second phase also is there. So. They have coal. And they have gas. Now, instead of investor putting money anywhere, they'll put the money there because they can produce as much as power as want and give it to ESCOM, which is next door, good buyer. So I think in power itself, which they are talking also backbone line and all this thing, they are, they are getting ready. There will be more than 30 to $40 billion investment. In Mozambique? In Mozambique. Well, over what sort of time frame? Uh, not more than seven to eight years. Uh, and uh, now the gas which has been found in uh, Mozambique Basin, uh, if that gas has to be commercially sold, which everybody wants because the yeah. investor is very anxiety and he will spend $20 billion to liquefy, bring, transport this gas to the port. 